all the mind, I focus on when I'm in my mood, meditation, my mantra, my mudra. That's when you you sort of theory, where you focus on manipulating the energy within your your heart field, your body, your vessel. And you know, I do this by doing the three practices using visualization. The three keys is visualization, meditation, concentration, and um, imagination. Mm -hmm. You know, because you have to visualize, imagine, taste it, feel it. You have to see it in your mind with imagination. Then you have to concentrate. You, you can't allow nothing from the outside to distract, distract you. Give me your own thoughts. Mm -hmm. You know, when you have those thoughts coming in, you have to keep focusing on your breath and channel those energies. Mm -hmm. So that's what I do. This is what I learned from my grandmasters and my teachers as a kid. And they've been, I've been doing this daily as I grow, grown up, grew up. So like a long time. Long time. Wow. And I'm still doing it to this day. And it's helping me, and it helps a lot of people as well. And when I do my daily practice, whether it's Pachi Qigong, working out, or also doing good deeds, I love helping people. You know, every day I wake up, I always plan out my day. I'm like, okay, what's amazing that's gonna happen? What's gonna be the amazing thing that's gonna happen? Whether it's me having a great time with friends, uh, communication, because we are humans, we have to communicate, we have to learn from different people. No man is one item. You have to connect with people so you can put all the puzzles together. You know, that's why so much separation going on in the world right now as we speak. But but the nature is showing us the way. We are learning how to get together. <laughs> so with that, um, um, just getting everything, putting the pieces together, I wake up, I'm like, I get amazed, like, okay, if I can help this individual or just learn something new, or try out a nice meal, um, plant-based. I don't eat no eggs, no fish, nothing. I'm all plant-based. So, you know, um, so whether it's having a nice meal or, you know, going on an adventure and seeing something new, this is how my, like, how I enjoy life. You know, this is how I raise my vibration. This is how I keep my mind uh, distracted from the negativity, you know, from whatever, all the, Whatever trauma or things you have that come into your mind that we all have, we always have to focus on the positive thing. You know, we have to distract those things. You know, focus on painting, whatever you like to do, drawing, uh, like running exercises, meditation, yoga, you know, doing the eight limbs of yoga, or Tai Chi, Qi Gong, you know, anything that helps strengthen your work feel, your vibration, or laugh in itself. Laughing itself, watching a fun movie. That's that's good too. You know, so I will like do these practices in the morning, you know, so I can raise my vibration. So once my vibration is raised, then it's like not too much negative negativity to come towards the aura because you already did the work. Yeah. So you're just cleansing out the karma, the stagnant energy. They call it subscars. You know, the scars that you place in the aura field that we have like millions of years, a thousand years ago, is stuck there past generations, passed down generations. So we have to clear it out, clear it out, even our own family trauma. We have to do our practices. So me doing my practices, doing the breathing exercises, uh, setting the discipline, because you have to have that discipline and that time for yourself. So, you know, once I have set the discipline and the time for myself, and I know the time that I need to work to, I can balance out my world, the, the two polarities. The, um, the system, the way of living in the system, and the way of living the mystic yogi life. Yeah. Where I'm like, still in the system, but out of the system too. Because you know, I'm balanced. That's where you find the bliss. You find what works for you. You know, but you always have to tell yourself this. This is me personally. Like, I'm so deep into it, like, my the spirit realm and uh, the craft, like, nothing really matters. All that matters to me is, like, doing unconditional love and just help the people raise their vibration and keep it moving. Mm -hmm. That's it. Nothing else matters. All these materialistic things, everything, people chasing and stuff, it doesn't matter. You know, all these things will drive us crazy. People try to get all these fancy cars, fancy house, and you put yourself in debt. People want all these things. The best way is simplicity. 
giving a simple life, yeah. you know, and doing things with unconditional love with no attachment. Because mm. when you have no attachment, you allow yourself to just sow that unconditional love in everything. Because the universe itself don't have no attachment. The sun, the moon, everything, all life is given us. It's, it's not selfish. Those are really big lessons I've learned since coming to Costa Rica. One. Like, yeah, like practicing non-attachment. Yes. All this stuff doesn't matter. It's yes. been huge lessons since yes. coming here. Yes. And it's I'm, I'm leaving soon too. So it's mm -hmm. like letting go of all this stuff yes. that I bought, and it's like doesn't matter. So pass it on to somebody who yes. needs it, right? Yes. Yes, and also the beautiful thing of Costa Rica, the reason I came here a long time ago, I heard the voice, my spirit was like, go here. Basically, was like, this is the place where you're gonna level up. Yeah. You know, we all, people come here, been here before. Yeah. Our spirit's been here before, yeah. ain't nothing new. Mm -hmm. We, our spirit's something here, us here, for us to see the inner, our problem that we need to work on. Yeah. It's, it's our calling, you know, for us to see. You know, some people don't see. Some people are afraid to see. Some people, they see it and they work on fixing it. But here, it opened you up. That's why it's so loving. It opened up the heart chakra. That's why it's so much green. Green represents the heart chakra. It opens up the heart. But when you have so much trauma and things inside your heart, it brings it out to the surface. So that's why we have to do the inner work here. We have to remember. They took us. They took everybody. We live in a concrete jungle, like in the city. Yeah. We supposed to be in nature. Yeah. When you live in nature, you know who you are. You know everything about yourself. Yeah. Now imagine you going on. You leaving the city and you going to nature. All the toxicity that you learn for the city lifestyle, nature gonna bring it out to the surface. It's gonna clean you out. And if you don't know how to, for example, be by yourself alone walk the solo path, or you know, learn how to live without money, and walk the stages of hell, and believe in your spirit and see the manifestation in your own willpower, the, the stuff you can manifest without the money, because it's all energy. Yeah. What's energy? Etheric, mind energy. Yeah. So all you have to do is think positive and everything gonna come towards you. 100%. It's that easy, we just make it hard. Oh yeah, <laughs> Yes. You have to have a degree and then you have to have the. No, you don't need any of that. It's yes. a big lie, right? Yes, because yeah. they teach us to have the fast food thinking. Yeah. Everything now. Now. Gotta have this now. <laughs> everything is now. Yeah. You know, no, everything is slow. Yeah. A flower will take its time to grow. Yeah. It's just like a woman. Everything supposed to take its time. But creativity, it takes its time yeah. to manifest. You cannot force it. When you force it, things don't come out right. It's like Correct. cooking. Correct. It's like cooking. Yeah. You have to take your time. You have to be strategic. It's the same thing with meditation. Mm -hmm. The three keys again. Visualization, concentration, and imagination. Mm -hmm. You cannot rush those things. You have to be in a deep thought and like concentrated. Yeah. It's the same thing. So we have to do those things. It's yeah. very important. So this is how you do your day, and you've been doing it for a very long time. So yes. which of these tools do you teach? Because I know that you do stuff, but I don't know everything that you do. Yes. So what do you do at One Love? At One Love Sacred Center here in Costa Rica, Guanacaste, baby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, here, One Love, shout out, shout out. Shout out to Haiti and Miami, Jamaica too, New York, Canada, Everywhere, one love, one one, bless up. Here in Costa Rica, oh. here is so it's so amazing. What was the question again? I, you I, I got I got some hype. I know, I'm just like really proud. <laughs> I love it. Um, what what do you teach here okay. in the studio? Here in the studio, I teach Kundalini yoga. I teach people to raise their frequency by balancing the masculine and the feminine energy within. You have both polarities within yourself. So I focus on the breath and raising the energy. I also teach meditation, mantra, mudra, that's part of meditation, where you do hand signs mm -hmm. and you do um, chants as well to help straighten the, or the organ, the auric field as well. 
for example, you could, what you could do to strengthen your aura, you could do the 717 technique when you inhale for seven seconds, you hold your breath for one second, then you exhale for seven seconds. Mm -hmm. You could do that 33 times, or you could do it how much, that's gonna help calm the nervous system and help generate the auric field mm -hmm. and it release all the negativity out. That's a practice y'all can do. Also, I teach uh, Tai Chi, Qi Gong. You know, Qi Gong, it helps you just to release the stagnant energy within and clears everything out to prepare you for Tai Chi flow. Mm -hmm. Basically, the movement so you can flow like water. Tai Chi is basically movement and it's, it's self-defense in martial arts as well. You know, and it's a dance as well too. And also I teach, um, I do massages, I do reflexology, I do, I do Reiki as well. You know, um, I do sound therapy with the tuning forks. Tuning forks, once again, was created by an ancient Egyptian. Those were the first tuning tools. Uh, it tunes you in directly to the source. So I place it on different points of the chakra and the crown, and I have uh, a lot of people that do breathing exercises with that. I do that mostly in all my classes. I try to do sound therapy for everybody. Cause I believe everybody needs a little bit of sound therapy before they leave my sacred center. Yeah. So yes. Yeah. So I do Kundalini, Tai Chi, Chi, Chi Gong, uh, meditation, mantra mudra, reflexology. Uh, um, sound therapy and so forth so on. Yeah. And I'm still um, developing myself into uh, the mystic practices. Mm -hmm. Right now, I'm currently teaching myself how to advance the mind to uh, manipulate the forces of the elements. Oh. Yes. So uh, is that with the videos that are on your Instagram right now? Is yes. That what I mean? Yes. Okay. I have videos of me manipulating through like releases on the YouTube channel and different things like that. Uh, some of these things I've been taught by my teachers, you know, and um, I'm now working on doing it myself. Mm -hmm. I'm taking my time and I'm allowing my spirit to guide me because I don't want to, you know, get too big head with it. Because yeah. with so much power, you get ego and and I try to tell people like, oh, I want to learn. I'm like, no, you take your time. Yeah. Because, for example, when I learned how to do this, uh, the next day I ran out, I tried to do it again, like pyrokinesis and other things. But um, I wasn't allowed to, because it was the intention. Mm -hmm. It was the greed for it, the, oh, the hunger for the power. Mm -hmm. No, 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 it's not that. Yeah. Then, like, a week passed later, I was like, calm, whatever. I decided to do it again without even thinking. It's when you don't think, yeah. when you let it flow then I was able to do it. But needs to say, I, me doing that, I also learn from my behavior as well. Everything I do, I learn from my mistakes. Yeah. You have to. That's the best way. Yes. Yeah. yeah, I love that you, or like you talked about the sound too, because like my goals have changed my life. Yes. And I just, you want to talk about like how powerful sound actually is with the yes. human body, and, <laughs> like spirit led. Yes. Yeah. Yes, because with sound therapy, it, it helps you on a molecular level, yeah. you know, and it strengthens your auric field, your spirit, your energy first, because that is first before the physical realm. Remember, before humanity fell from the crown, the throat, and the heart chakra down to the other levels, we, um, we use like sound therapy to strengthen our auric field, and all that, we was sound vibration, we was, we didn't need the energy, the, the, the sound therapy. But now we use the tools because we fell down. We have to develop ourselves to our higher state again. So now we have the tools to help assist us. So we're using the sound therapy and the tools to help balance out our, you know, our auric field and help us connect our spirit to the source. That's a great tool for everybody at this time. Whether it's singing bowls, tuning forks, you know, digital do any sound therapy, you know, any sound tool. Mm -hmm. it, it helps and uh, help us advance. Yeah, it's all we all are vibration, we are all energy. Yeah. And those tools help us remove all the stagnant energy that we develop from working all the time or meeting negative people or people who send negative thoughts to us. Yeah. We need a tune-up, we need time just to meet somebody 
uh, who have singing bowls or tuning fork, any sound tool, like you, or uh, for example, like us, to help remove those energy. Yeah. We have to, even we have to go, our uh, teachers themselves need other teachers to help remove the negative energy. Yeah. I myself need other practitioners, master teachers to help me remove those negative energies. Yeah. It's important. This is just, it blows my mind how much knowledge you have. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so one of my favorite questions is also when you started your spiritual journey. Like, I know, I know when you started your spiritual journey because you want to share with people of my podcast, like, where you were, you were started and what got you into all this. My spiritual journey? Um, on my spiritual journey, um, it started when I was seven years old. <laughs> when I was seven years old and my brother was like, I asked my brother, hey, why do we have to pay bills? They were like, we have to pay bills, that's life. Then I saw birds, I saw all the animals just having fun as a kid. They don't pay bills? And I was like, they don't pay bills, what's, what's going on? Who's, who's been tricked here? <laughs> uh, what's going on? I'm like sucking this up. The reason why, because I used to see like people come home, they used to be stressed out. They used to be so anger, so much anger. Family used to have problems because uh, like somebody could not pay the bills and all that. So I seen so much corruption. Off of like, this is what we doing for the dollar. This is what we doing for money. We what's what's going on? So all these thoughts was coming in my head as a young age, and I started to see things different. So I started to awaken. And my spirit started to talk to me. I started seeing di different things. Uh, angels started appearing in my life in different forms and different people. I started meeting like different random strangers, like bums, you could say, mm -hmm. that they'll come in my block. I'll never see them in my block. They'll come up and they'll talk to me met about metaphysics. I, w I didn't know nothing about that, but they'll program into my subconscious. Mm -hmm. I was just, I see them like, like beings. They'll tell me about the zodiac sign. They'll tell me as a kid, you are a star. You have all, when you die, your ancestors are in stars. And like different people will come. So it all started when I was seven, you know. Then afterwards, you know, I started seeing the truth and everything in life, you know. Um, how, like, I was curious to see, like, why are so much people were so sad and angered, you know. I'm like, what's going on? Like me, I'm always happy, I'm always smiling. My parents um, call me, my middle name is Kiki. Kiki is joy, happiness, laughter, mm -hmm. you know? So um, I used to always wonder why so much wickedness is like going on. So I'm like, what can I do to solve this problem? Mm -hmm. You know, so later on, you know, I started to see so much thing going on in the world. Uh, when I was 14, I ended up dying in my sleep. Um, because that's when I saw the truth in everything, like the school systems, mm -hmm. you know, religion, everything. I I was I brought up in Christianity. I was raised in Christianity. Mm -hmm. I respect Christianity because if it wasn't for that, I wouldn't um, have like a foundation, you know. But I, I grew up. I graduated from it, mm -hmm. you know. I took some of the principles and I advanced myself, you know. I know that I have the power within, all the power is within me, and I have connected with that absolute universe, and it assists me with leveling my power, raising my frequency, yeah. you know. So once I realized all those things, when I died in my sleep, when I was 14, my body actually left, my astral body basically floated up. I had the bolt, the cord connected to my astral body, and to my physical body. Mm -hmm. So as I was levitating, I was paralyzed at first. I couldn't move up, move at all. My eyes was just there. Then I just fell asleep. I saw my body just floating up. As it was floating up, I saw my body just laying there, just laying there. As I was rising up, my actual body, and I could hear like my parents and everybody in the living room laughing, talking, whatever. So it was like six something. I decided to go to sleep early that time. But around that stage, I was going through a whole lot of depression and a whole lot of different things. 
because I was like, there's so much things people don't see that goes on in the world. Mm -hmm. And I used to see so much things that will affect even my family and my friends. Mm -hmm. And I couldn't tell them because it was had to go deep, 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 even within their own mind. Yeah. Even if I was to tell them, I would be the villain. You know, I'll be the bad guy. But when I died in my sleep, I was floating. Then a, a red beam of light was sucking me through it. So my actual body was just going straight through that beam of light. So I was scared. I was 14. I didn't know what the heck was going on. So as I was traveling through that light, going through, you know, because I'm the one that asked for it. I told my spirit to death. I had enough of this this world. I see all the games, it's all fake. You know, I don't have time for hypocrites. I don't have time for none of this stuff. I don't have time for games no more. You know, all this stuff is petty to me. What I have to do to raise my- 14. Yes. Yeah. I was like, what do I have to do to raise my vibration to get this thing done and get out of here? Yeah. The thing is, um, all the great masters and when you are yogi, when you supposed to reincarnate or come back to this earth, you awaken quicker because the, your subconscious, your consciousness is still floating around. So when you come back, you can awaken quicker at an earlier age. Everybody have their timeline. You know, for my timeline, it was earlier for me because like I believe in my past life, I was always like this. I'm like, okay, if I'm here, what's the purpose? While I'm here, let's get this done and keep it moving. That's my drive, you know? So after that, I was floating back to the story. As I was traveling, the red beam, I was getting sucked through the red beam. Then I was like saying a prayer because I was scared. I was like, I don't want to leave right now. I don't want to die because um, I was having thoughts. Like if I was to leave right now, how would my parents feel? That would be selfish for me to just go and just to leave them like that. You know, I'll be selfish. You cannot leave like that. That's a selfish act. You know, that's not righteous. Yeah. So after that, um, I went and I stayed in like a, it was like a darkness, a dark out of space, whatever. I ain't go to the source yet. I was almost there to the source. You know, that's when I took out west of this year and I went to the source. I'm gonna get to that story. Yeah. But um, once I was there, I said a prayer. I was close to reaching the source, but I couldn't. It was a blockage because of fear. Mm -hmm. Fear always holds you back. Yeah. That's that energy. It holds you back. Mm -hmm. So when you die with anger, you die with fear, you're not happy, you're stuck in limbo, it holds you back. Mm -hmm. We don't want that. You want to live happy, you die happy. Yeah. That's why the yogi mystic, they always teach you to have no attachment. Yeah. You have no desire for the world. You do good deeds, you do, you know, you, Stay positive, but have no attachments. Mm -hmm. Only unconditional love. But needless to say, when I was there in the astral realm, I began to talk to my spirit. I was like, okay, like I'm going through all this craziness here, and what's the plan? Like, what's really up? Like, what's up? Like, I can't like go through this side to the other side. You know, I don't know what's really going on. I'm scared. I don't have enough knowledge to know what's on the other side. And I'm not ready, you know. So my spirit was talking to me. I was like, yo, Will, you went, you are not ready. This is what it was telling me. It was telling me all this thing, sound vibration, you know. It speaks to you in your own intuition, your own thoughts. Yeah, so it was telling me, Will, you know, I just wanted to show you a taste of what's on the other side, okay? So you can't be depressed on none of that, all right? You know that you have, your, the other side is always prepared for you. You know, you are good, you are set. All we want you to do is go back down, do what you have to do, and focus on raising your vibration. But always be mindful, when you raise your vibration, you may have a lot of people going against you, even some people in your own family, you may have friends go against you, and you may have the whole world go against you, but that do not matter. You're not here to please the world. You are here to raise your vibration. If there's other people around you that want to learn some of the knowledge and you can help raise their vibration, go ahead. But everybody is responsible for their own action. Yeah. So it was telling me that, you know, like, Will, don't focus on that. If 
always pay attention to your heart. Focus on bringing in your heart. You know, always have self-love. Everything on the outside don't matter. You should have, your love should be so powerful for yourself that it should be like the love of your mother. So powerful. Because that's the only love that's, that is real. It's your mother love. Not the father, it's the mother love. Why do you say that? Because the mother is this, the feminine energy is closer to the source. Uh, if you pay attention, the mental, woman is mental. So you have the mental mind coming before the physical body. Yeah. The physical code is the masculine. Yeah. You know, so that's why they say if you understand the mystic, all mystic yogis and all ancient beings, they respect the feminine energy. Mm -hmm. They respect it. Because okay. they know it is the creator. Because when it's yeah, I make the babies. Yeah. And it's the same thing with the universe and the galaxy. The galaxy created the universe, the universe created the sun, the moon, and the planets, and all life. Yeah. Same thing. Inside the galaxy is the womb, just like the womb. Mm -hmm. So they understand that feminine energy is manifestation and creativity. Yeah. It is the creativity and manifestation. It is the patience yeah. that we all need. Mm -hmm. You know, so it's the patient that takes the time to manifest all the good deeds and all the good things. You know, so you know, like I tell people, a flower has a process for it to grow. You cannot rush it. Yeah. Cannot. So yeah. So knowing that, you know, so me speaking to my spirit and all that coming down, and like my spirit telling me, hey, um, just focus on doing that, balancing the polarities, and you'll see the doors begin to open and all that. So like, cool. All right, I challenge you. That's why I told him, I'm gonna challenge you. And I told him straight up, you have to speak. This is me. I'm real, cuz this is me. I was like, look, whatever. I'm gonna follow the guidelines that I have. You know, I'm talking to my spirit, my higher self, my true self, and I'm talking to my ancestors mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. Told everything, everybody. I was like, look, I'm gonna walk this path. I'm gonna do what I have to do. Whatever happened, happened. And if something happened to me, if I die, who cares? All I know, I live walking my own path yeah. and I took control of my own destiny. Yeah. And I took my own power back. Yeah. That's it. I nobody, no, I have my own power. I don't depend on nobody. Yeah, we're the mm -hmm. creators that are in the world we, and the yes. story and like whatever happened is on you. It's on you. You are like this right now. Yes. You didn't have to say yes, but you did. And yes. I didn't have to start a podcast, but like I'm choosing this path and this is what yeah. And yes. Anything, yes. any single place you go, no matter what. Yes, yeah. and we allowing it to flow because when you operate off of pureness, the energy flow properly. Yeah. Nobody is not ain't like letting our ego take over. I allow you to speak, you allow me to speak, yeah. just like that. You know, everything flow pureness with pureness. You know, that's how things happen. That's the same thing with your action and how your thoughts will be just pure. That allows that energy to flow in. That's allow the law of attraction, allow you to meet different people. If you have in a situation and you have a pure mind, like you have in, let's say you need a car and you have a pure mind, you operate off of positivity, you're gonna meet somebody who's probably need to give a car away for free. Just like that, laws of attraction, because you're being positive. You're attracting that energy. And if that person, like, have a pure heart too, and the person is like, oh, I feel like giving my car away, just doing a good deed. That law of attraction, that energy he put out, or that person put out, is gonna connect with that, your energy, because you, your energy is searching for that open, that energy. So it's gonna connect, and boom, you're gonna meet that person. Yeah. That's how it's gonna happen. Yeah. You know, that's another thing I learned on my journey. Which journey, the personal journey or not? Just, no, this <laughs> this personal journey, this personal journey. Yeah. Before doing ayahuasca or any like psychedelics or anything, I did all the self healing first. Mm -hmm. I did all the self healing first. Are we ever really done though? Huh? Are we ever really done though? We no. What is your thought on that? We never. I did all the work for my emotion yeah. and all the mundane. Basic emotion things humanity have problems with, I completed. Yeah. I could die right now, I'm happy. Yeah. Cause I'm free. I, I left 
Uh, I've been through all the hells. I've been through broken hearts. I healed from that. Boom. I've been through everything. You did what your soul came to do. Yeah, I did with my soul, and I, I'm so in, like connected with my spirit. Like I'm happy. Like it's like even when I have a blank face, I don't even show it. My spirit is happy. Yeah. If I'm like I'm connect, I'm doing like thinking of things to connect me more with my spirit. Like I'm right now thinking about the next fire meditation I'm gonna do to please my spirit, mm -hmm. to clear up my aura as well. I'm thinking about different things to raise my vibration. You know, like like the next day, what I'm planning, what's the next day gonna bring? You know, I'm adding extra things to my list. If 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 I don't have things planned, what can I plan? Yeah. You know, or what can I add to my plans? That too, you know? Yeah. Wow. Okay, so you've been in Costa Rica for six years. Uh, seven now. Seven now. Okay. Yes. And when, as somebody who just did an ayahuasca mm -hmm. ceremony, what, when did you do it and why did you choose to do ayahuasca? Last year was the year I did, wait, eight months ago. I did ayahuasca, eight months. When I did ayahuasca, the reason why I did ayahuasca was to go back to that, um, that the actual realm, that place, that blissful state. Um, I went to when I died when I was 14, mm -hmm. when I separated from my body. Yeah. That's died, separation, died, separation. So you're, were you not able to get back there without ayahuasca? Is that why you chose? I could do it now. I could do it now if I want to. Yeah. But I, there's no need to. What's the point of going there if I already saw it? A lot of people focus on going there and they come back and they feel sad. Mm -hmm. They don't want to come back to this world. Yeah. That's a trick and that's a demon that we place upon ourselves. Mm -hmm. That's not what our Wesca and all these psychedelics are for. We need to delete those thoughts. Because when you come back to this world, you come back and you have to focus on building yourself. You have to learn different things. Remember, we cannot reach those higher realms if we still have trauma and things we need to work on. Those higher beings not going to allow us. Those who run the galactic force up there, the higher forces, the light beings, the energy light beings, you are not allowed there if you have a lot of trauma. That's why we are here on planet Earth to help heal ourselves. We are here, we have to do a lot of inner work. The training ground. This, right? Yes, this is the training ground. Planet Earth is the school. Yeah. It's the school for everybody to do work. Mm -hmm. And if we have problems, the universe will always send great masters to help assist. Yeah. Great, yeah. yes. And where great masters is all is evil to come and try to stop the great masters as well. So we gotta be mindful of that. You have always the two forces battling each other. Mm -hmm. It's always like that. That's why we have a lot of great messiahs, they always transition. You know, it's not because they killed them. It's okay, they'll be back again. But they did their duty. They know their time. A lot of great grandmasters, they die around their thirties. Mm -hmm. A lot of, they die around their thirties. Why? Because it's significant. The number 33 is significant. I know it. And it's, it's like the Messiah. That's the Messiah number. That's like, that's where a lot of like Buddha or you could say Jesus or all the great Messiah people came, she, Krishna and all them. That's like, that's like the, the number that they come, they come, they manifest in 33, and that's the time they go. Wow. You know, I don't know, but that's, they call it. You know, but they have the desire to come back at will, and they could use anybody special at will, mm -hmm. if they want. Mm -hmm. You know, they could, that's their power, because they are one with the absolute. They train their body to that point, where like the minds, where they could just teleport, turn their body to a light orb, a light beam, and they could leave. Those orbs you see in the sky, people think it's UFOs, those are light beams. Mm -hmm. Or you could say light beams that fell asleep and their body are leaving as well. You know, so yeah. That's beautiful. Yes. Oh, the spiritual journey. It is like next level. Yes, and level. we are on pre-K level. Mm -hmm. We are on pre-K level. Everybody on pre-K level. Even I, yeah. I'm just helping everybody raise it up because we have to graduate from planet Earth. Right. We got to reprogram our mind, mm -hmm. learn from our own emotion, mm -hmm. you know, sit in meditation, analyze our thoughts, analyze ourselves, analyze everything we did, 
how we get upset, what pisses us off, what makes us happy, everything. You know, so where things that come that make us mad, we know how to handle that. You know, so we have to learn how to develop our mind so to the point where it's so powerful once again. So powerful. And we do this by breathing exercises and meditation and the eight minutes of yoga and sound therapy yeah. and different tools as well. There's so many tools out there. Yes. Which one's your favorite? My favorite? <laughs> um, I love doing my fire meditation. Yeah. I love I watching love. them on your Instagram. I'm yes. like, what is he doing? <laughs> The reason why I love my fire meditation, because it helped me, I help manipulate the energy, and with the fire, it helped me, it's like the phoenix. I send all the negative energy to the fire and convert it to positivity. Yeah. And it helps bring in my work field as well. Yeah. And there's so much going on, so much. Like, I'm getting costly information for the sun and everything. I'm just connected, so much going on. And when I get a whole lot of cost for information, sometimes it can be an overload. I have to do a fire meditation. Wow. Just, uh, how long do you do them for? How long the fire go on? The, the whole time it's burning. Yes, I let the wow. fire the fire be my timer. Wow. Yeah, the fire has to be my timer. That's incredible. Because I have to, uh, when, um, I challenge, uh, with yoga, when you study your chakras, you, the solar plexus, willpower, and determination. To you reach up yeah. towards the heart. Yeah. You know, I'm already doing it with the love energy and all that sending the love energy. Yeah. But how strong is my willpower and determination to survive the fire? Okay. I have my belief in all that. Yeah. How strong is my mind to level up to make me not feel what's around me? Mm -hmm. How can I tune myself so deep, deep, deep in my concentration as with the force in the outside don't bother me to the point I am one with it? Mm -hmm. So that's where I'm training my mind right now. Wow. When did you start doing the fire meditation? I started doing it when I arrived in Costa Rica. Six years, seven years ago? Yes. Wow. Yes. That's where, you know, I, I um, started developing, like, just going in the jungle, like, healing myself, going through, like, just, like, healing myself. Like, you know what? I'm going to do something fun, like, primordial. I'm a like my spirit, like sitting in meditation. I love fire. As a kid, I used to always play with fire. Are you a fire sign? No, I'm a herd. Okay. But I love fire signs. <laughs> <laughs> I love fire and air signs. Well, love y'all. I'm y'all out there. But I love, I love, I love passion. Yeah. I love fire for some reason. As a kid, I used to always play with fire. Mm -hmm. I used to love it. Something about it. It's the fire that helps me concentrate. I do candle meditation. It's the strongest element. It's, it's, it's no the strongest. No matter what you do, it'll yes. be burning. It is the strongest element, and I choose to uh, uh, be one with the element. Mm -hmm. I would say challenge, but there's no way that I can challenge fire. Mm -hmm. You can only respect it and be one with it, mm -hmm. and it can allow you to be one with it. Yeah. You have to ask it for permission once again. Yeah. You have to pay respect. You know, people try to go and do the same thing, it's not possible. Mm -hmm. You have to do a lot of practices to get your mind to that state. Mm -hmm. And you have to connect with the elements first, the elemental forces, you know, before they can trust you with that. Mm -hmm. You know, and you have to cleanse out your auric field first. You know, so it's a lot of practice we have to do so before we develop our psychic senses. Yeah. You know, the clairvoyance and all the, you know, telepathy and all those other senses that we used to have thousands of years ago, you know, that which is still there. Yeah, which is only depleted and yes. down by society and like the... Yes, due to the 5G and all yeah. the food and all the extra yeah. uh, the programming and yeah. the religion and the beatings and, you know, forcing it on our parents and allowing yeah. our parents to force us to do their biddings and all that. Yeah. So it's passed down. But needless to say, I'm happy all that happened. I'm aware of it. Yeah. That made me stronger. Exactly. I don't say, I let all those happen. I don't have no hate. I don't have no grudges mm -hmm. about none, none of that. I forgive my parents. Mm -hmm. I uh, respect my parents. I love my parents always. I understand. My parents are into Christianity. Mm -hmm. They always, my mother always called me and told me, pray to Jesus, this and that. I know what's real, yeah. but I respect my mother. I respect mm -hmm. what she's saying. At the end of the day, she sent me love and energy. At the end of the day, positivity. So I take that. Yeah. I take that, and you are the Christ conscious. Yeah. 
and I convert that energy into positive energy into yeah. my own being. Yeah. The old me used to be like, no, I, I used to fight and go against it. I'm like, why am I waste my energy going? Why waste? Why? Yeah. Now we going against it, and now we mad at each other. Yeah, instead of being like realizing that we're all one. Yeah, we all one. I am you, and you are me, no matter who you are. Yes, that's it. So I'm like, come on. So you know, I seen the bigger picture. I'm like, okay, you know, it's just all love energy at the end of the day. It's so all love energy, you know. So I receive the love, I'm open to it, and that's it. You know, we have to do that at this time. Especially you know? right now. Yes. Especially like the biggest lesson, the biggest message that I've gotten mm. since 2020 started is we came here for this yes. right now to wake one another up, to bring each other home. Yes. Together, not yes. against one another. No. They're trying really hard, but yes. they're not gonna win. They're yes. No, they never won. No. They're losing. They already lost. Oh, yeah. They already lost. All they can do is keep doing what they do to bring as, like they said, the devil will always try to bring as much people with them to hell as possible. Yeah. That's all I'll say. Yeah. It's that simple. So then what you Crap in a bucket story. <laughs> I'm proud to be coming out right now. We have to be in the exam room. that right now in a society we have to bring each other vibration up like like you was just saying with the separation yeah. we don't need to be separate against each other we all need to come together yeah. they're going to keep doing as much you can to divide and conquer yeah. that's the only way you can control population is divide conquer yeah. all right we cannot allow them to keep doing that we have to pay attention to ourselves that's why we have to do the eight limbs of yoga practices because we have to analyze our emotion. Mm -hmm. We have to get rid of the seven deadly sins. Mm -hmm. Whatever. The lust, the greed, the, the, all these impurities, all these, all these emotions. We have to remove it. If we still have these things within us, humanity cannot come together. Never. Oh, yeah. Never. Because why? S suppose these. You see how I am? I could be a rebel like Martin Luther King, or Bob Marley, and all of them. Look at them now, where they at. Yeah. Because they spoke the truth. They spoke the truth. Yeah. But it's not that. It's because, you know, the people they had around them. Not everybody is healed. Not everybody is for you. Yeah. You can't trust everybody around your circle. Right. You know, you have to protect your energy always. You know, not everybody, you know, people have their trauma. Everybody is addicted to stuff. You can pay people a million dollars and they'll do anything. Mm -hmm. And kill them off after. Because they can't control their minds. And they, come on. They let the lower animalistic chakra, the root chakra, animalistic consciousness control their own mind. Yeah. You know, we have to raise ourselves back to the heart enough. Mm -hmm. We cannot remain on the lower chakras no more, the consciousness. We have to raise our consciousness up. Then we could develop ourselves enough, our consciousness enough, to where we could actually project our consciousness to our other selves in different realms. Just like the Avatar the movie, when a person go to sleep and your consciousness, you wake up to a different body. Yeah. Same thing with the dream world. You wake up, boom, and you can do whatever you want. It's like the same thing. Yeah. You just have to take control and be aware. And you can do this by when you're dreaming, you put yourself in a dream state. Mm -hmm. Before you go to sleep, look at your palms. Analyze your palms how it is now. Look at it. And when you go to sleep in a dream world, you visualize how you see your palms. You look at it in a dream world. Then, boom, that's when you'll wake up in a dream world and you can go around and do whatever you want. Mm -hmm. And you can get all the information you want. And you could come back into this world when you wake up, and you'll come back with a lot of wisdom and power. You know, you could, if you want a fancy bike, a fancy car, you could grab a car or a fancy bike, go to your home in the astral realm, or come to the studio or whatever your house is, leave the bike there in the astral realm. It could be weeks or months, years later, you will have a brand new bike or a car. That's how it is. But it's up to your spirit. Everything is divine timing. 
you wrote the blueprint for yourself. You know when you need these things. Yeah. You know, you just cannot rush. Yeah, following that soul purpose. Yes, following the soul purpose in a soul journey. Yeah. Like it's all written down. We just have to continue to go on it. Yes. And it's for me. Like it's happening for me, not to me. Yes. Yes. Think of every single day with like shit hits the fan, you just got in a car accident, like somebody mm -hmm. just passed away, like yes. this is not coming to you, it's coming for you so for that you can see how you respond and stuff react mm -hmm. like in this world. Yes. That is the school. Yes. Yeah. That. Yeah. That is. That that sums up the whole thing. Yeah. Just like that. That's the that's planet Earth meaning. That's what you have to do with planet Earth. Yeah. That's it. We are, we are almost done an hour. Word? <laughs> hey. It's really fasting. <laughs> yes, if you have any questions, let me know. You can okay. talk to me. So where can, I will put all of your information in the show notes. Where can people find you? You have to find me on Instagram and on Facebook and YouTube. You have to search One Love Sacred Center. That's again, One Love Center. Sacred Center. We are live here in Costa Rica. <laughs> Bless up. I'm here with my girl Jess. One love always. Hopefully everybody having a blessed time. Always keep your head up and stay positive always while we go through the spiritual warfare. Remember, you've been through this stage already, all right? You've been through it. Don't let nothing, the negative mind, bring you down. You have to cancel out that monkey mind. And you do that by focusing on the breath. Love. And then I have a question that I ask all my guests yes. before I let them go. Yes. And with your story, I'm going to ask a different age. Mm -hmm. If you could go back and talk to your 14 year old self, uh -huh. what would you say to him? <laughs> You're on the right freaking path. <laughs> You're doing the. You what? Like, boy, you got some amazing things in store for you. Like, wait, keep going through all the misery right now. That's what I would have told them. Like, boy, yes, you need to go through all this. You deserve it. You deserve it. Like, wait and see. That's what I would have told myself. Like, take that as a man and become stronger. That's probably what I did to myself. Yeah. That probably was, that's, that's exactly what my spirit told myself when I was 14 when I died in my sleep. Yeah. I just not thought about it. Until this moment? Until this moment. One love, thank you for telling me that. You are so welcome. Bless up. Oh. One love. That was it. It wow. was telling me. Overcomes, wait the stores, all the doors are going to be open. All you have to do is follow your life purpose. Yeah. Uh, that's the answer I got when I, come, when I came back to my body. One love. Thank you for telling me. You're so welcome. That actually, like, knowing when you have awareness of these things, that's why I tell people always reflect every Sunday. You know, of the month, uh, everything you've been, reflect on the good things that happen, your family, and all the good things. Yeah. You know, because you those things remove the negative energy, clear out the karma within your aura field. Yeah. It's like a release. You feel like like a feather. You know, but my my inner child right now is happy. Yeah. It's clapping. I can feel it. You feel it when your heart feels happy. It's you the feel chill. it. It's a yeah. good one, but there's the chills. Yeah, you feel your heart is happy. You, when your heart feels happy, it's like a sensation you feel in the heart. Yeah. Like a, it's a sensation. Like you want to cry, it's mm -hmm. like a, that sensation. Yeah. It's amazing. That's so cool. Yes. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you all. For joining me today. Bless so great. <laughs> <laughs> One love and thank you for doing what you're doing. Stay focused, stay on your path, okay? Always, you're doing the right thing. Remember, you are like being, we need you here at this time. Always keep your mind strong, always. Because it's us, they're coming for us now. Yeah. They're coming for us, the yeah, light workers. We're here to like, stir some shit up. Yeah, stir some shit. But at the end of the day, we are already one. Yeah. Everybody have to stand their ground. Yeah. I don't care if they torture, you have to stand your ground. Like they say in the Bible and all the great books, you're going to have to believe in what you believe to the point where, yeah, they can take you. They can take you. You have to follow, you have to believe in it. You have to. Because the physical is not real, so nothing they can do can harm your spirit. 
at the end of the day. You knowing that, that's, that shuts off a lot of negativity. So you tell yourself that. So yeah, that's why I tell myself daily.
know, it's just a moment. You mess up for the moment, by the end of the day, you, you're going to be focused on your journey. Because mm -hmm. spiritually, they matter, but you have your purpose. Mm -hmm. yeah. You are first. Yeah. You know, everybody on, the, on their own level of consciousness. Oh, yeah. Everybody. And you cannot let nobody distract you. Never wear your heart on your sleeve. Mm -hmm. Always keep it with them. Mm -hmm. Somebody want to connect with you, show them unconditional love, and they have to show you unconditional love. Mm -hmm. No attachment, no control, no none of that. Mm -hmm. All right, keep your heart with them. All right, you always have to protect your heart. Everybody messed up during this COVID situation. This COVID show everybody wants relationships, everybody had to separate. But it showed everybody true color came out. Oh, so much. It was good. It had to happen. Cause it had they had to force everybody to see the truth and help everybody. Oh, shit. Yeah, yeah. And it forced everybody to develop and change. Mm -hmm. I I changed so much. I changed so much belief. I changed so many things. I left so many people behind. Mm -hmm. Cause my mind, my spirit were like, well, it's time for you to level up. And Gonna hold you back, they're not ready, so keep it moving. Mm -hmm. And like it, it hurts, it hurts sometimes, but like you have to do it, like, you have to do it. And I tell people, I tell people straight up, even people close to me, I'm like, Look, what my spirit is so strong, like I don't care, I'm gonna listen to it. It's nothing that's gonna set, not even you. I'm keeping it moving. I, my spirit is so strong, I keep it moving. That's it, mm -hmm. you know, I'm to that point. I have to protect my spirit always. I know things that make me happy. That's why I do my daily practice. Mm -hmm. That's why I do the things to keep my vibration high. I know I did my daily practice. If I want, I could go drink a beer with friends, even mm -hmm. though I don't drink. But it's sometimes good to just, I drink, okay, this is for my ancestors and all my dead homies. Boom, boom. Yeah. Switch the intention. And I don't do it with a negative mind. You know, and I work out and I do my practices to remove it. So I could deserve, I could do things here and there if I want to. Mm -hmm. You know, it's my right. I know the power, I know myself, I know my body, and I know my mind, how strong is it? You know, unlike other people who could do these things and they go crazy. Mm -hmm. You know, if I know I'm drunk, I'm gonna go straight home and rest. I'm not gonna stand around and be in a crowd of people and let all the energies come into my chakras. Yeah. I'm not gonna do that. No, if I'm a drink, I'd rather be away from crowds and like, a small environment where I know I control is calm, mm -hmm. where not too much like spirits jumping around. No, I don't need that. Because mm -hmm. when you drink, you open your chakras, a lot of entities come in. Yeah. Any substance abuse. That's why it's drinking. Yes. One love, congratulations. Bless. <laughs> That into you. Yeah, that continued after. <laughs> continued after. I'll send you that. I'll send you that. I'll send you the whole thing. You got an iPhone? Uh, no, I have an Android. Oh, I'll, I'll find a way to send you that. Okay. okay, I'll edit it. I'll post it on the YouTube. Yeah. I'll post it on the YouTube. Okay. Yeah. So, um, yeah, just to that nature, you know, just keep your vibration up. Yeah. You know, always protect your energy. Always. Yes. And everything's going to come to you. Mm -hmm. That easy. That, that, and it's gonna happen. It's meant for you. It is meant for you. And if you do it with love energy, love energy travels four times greater than the speed of light. It's powerful. You do anything with love energy, it's gonna come directly to you. That's why I tell people when sound therapy set positive intention, send love energy to the world. One love. One love. Exactly. <laughs> That's what it's doing. Yeah. That's what you're doing. They are. Yes. And I'm going to go back Do that. There are angels all over the world, different places. There are places there to, hurt, to help those individuals in all the different areas. You know, do that. And when it's time for us to connect again, we will connect. But we have plenty of fan base and we connect them. That's why I, tell, I told my friend yesterday, I was like, you may have a group of friends that hate me, but I have you here teaching them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and you clearing out the karma. Mm -hmm. I'm actually helping them. I'm allowing them to come to the class for you to teach them. Mm -hmm. 
I may have people that hate you, but I can have them, you know, come here, do your thing, blah, 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 so forth, so on, you know, and we can connect. You know, if I have my friend, they see us walking in the street, they're like, oh, I know him, know him, okay, okay, now their minds start to change. Mm-hmm. Even though I don't care what people think, but I like to mess with people's minds. I do make these, them Yeah, make them question themselves. You know, I, I make people eat their own shit. Like literally? Yeah, I, <laughs> I can do that and stuff their face in the ground. <laughs> but we don't need to go there. We do that mentally. Yeah. We, everything's mental. You let people swallow their own spit. Mm-hmm. You know, make them be like, oh, maybe I was the, the dumb one, the, the bad guy. Mm-hmm. That's the way to do it. Mm-hmm. You know, and you watch the people change the next day. Mm-hmm. You know, you tell people straight up, you know, how you feel. You know, if you feel the energy feeling weird, you tell people how you feel. Hey, man, I see you don't want to talk. I see you, what, what's going on? Do you have a problem with me? Okay, what's the problem? I don't want to work with my breath. I had to tell a few people that in the street that make jewelry. Mm-hmm. I had to tell other guys that. I'm like, I'm not here to play. If I'm say something, one love to you, you got to say something back to me. Oh, mm-hmm. uh, nah. I, it's not my problem. I'm a big guy. You jealous of me. You got envious and your girl said hello. That's not my problem. Mm-hmm. That is your responsibility. Mm-hmm. I'm doing me. I'm in my zone. I'm not focused on you. I'm not doing my business. Why are you feeling a certain way? This is why I tell the people straight up. I can feel the energy. I'm like, yo, I can read your mind. I can feel the energy if I want to. Don't play this game with me. Yeah. So I tell them, I'm like, yo, it's like, you want to talk? And if they say no, I cut them off. I cut a few people off. My energy so powerful. When I walk the street, they have no choice but to look up. Yeah. They want to see what I'm wearing. They want to see everything, how I look. They want to see if I look beat up or if I'm sad. They always see me with my head up. Happy, high, same thing. I say hello to everybody, but not the people who disrespect me. I always call you change the energy in the gym. I always change the energy. In a really good way. Ah, who told you that? Barbara? Shannon. Shannon, Shannon, Shannon. Shannon. Shannon, Shannon. Redhead Shannon. Yeah. Oh, what about? She's like, every time he comes in, he just like, he's so supportive, and he's like all over the place. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Because that's why we're here, is to lift the vibration. We're not here to judge or That's on you. Even in the gym, I have guys, they'll say like comments like, oh, I'll be lifting weight. They'll be like, okay, I'm lifting a small weight. I'm like, yo, I don't care about that. Everybody on their own level. Yeah. That's not my problem. That's your problem. That's your problem. This is how Buddhas and great Messiahs get assassinated because people don't know how to control their own self and their own behavior. Mm-hmm. I'm not with that no more. I'm, I'm now in this realm. I'm going to correct people when they acting funny. I'm not playing games no more. I don't have time for games. I have nothing to lose. Yeah. I already gained everything. Yeah. I already won. So don't come to me with the BS. Mm-hmm. You know, like we, I tell all the light workers, don't play games. Now is not the time to play games because there's a lot of parasitic people out there. And when you're out of integrity and you're playing with your ego, it will go. Yes. The wrong direction. Yes. I've seen it. And yes. Yes. Do not fuck with this energy because it is for the higher good of all of humanity. So stop. Yes. 100%. Yes. That part. That part. That's why I, I I let people they talk they crap. You can do whatever. I don't say nothing. That car will gonna come back to you. Yeah. Don't yeah. no, have to. I have all my angels behind me and I have the laws of the universe mm-hmm. and I understand the law. Mm-hmm. So me understanding the law, knowing that what you did. It's gonna come back to you. Yeah. <laughs> so it's like, come on now. Do I just go about my day? Mm-hmm. You know, that guy, whoever, like the people I'm saying hello to, every time I walk by them, they saying negative things, they just making it so miserable and they weakening their immune system every time they say something negative. Every time you have negative thoughts, you weaken your organs. Mm-hmm. You're doing harm to yourself. Big gut, everything. Yeah. So what can we, hey, that's not my problem. On Focus on you. Yeah. Focus on you. If he would have been cool, he would have gotten information from me. Yeah. But he want to be a jerk and let his petty side get the front row. Hey, you have to, like I said, let people eat their own shit. Yeah. You know, mm-hmm. you have to. Mm-hmm. At 
it's time, you know. Now the universe is strong. Karma is like taking action. I don't care whatever you want to believe, karma or not, cause and effect. It's taking action. The universe, the feminine energy is not playing no game. It's not playing no game right now. That's why, you know, um, so much, there's so much going on. So much. I recommend people focus on clearing out their karma patterns. Yeah. That's it. So you could be like, because it's getting real. It's going to get stronger and stronger. The less you have, the less things you have to worry about. That's it. You know, people, they have like, when you have an emotion problem, they bring in more karma. They drink it more, they do a different drug, they add in more karma, stress in their mind, uh, then they develop like back problems and all that. More karma, as above, so below. As within, so without. So, like, that's why we do these practices to clear it out. So, yeah. Come on, let's give you a hug. <laughs> Thank you. Mwah!